Hey guys, it's Jake from Old Anvil Speed Shop. In today's video, we're gonna show you how we install aluminum and hoses and fittings from Phoenix on our 62 Impala project that's going to SEMA in like five days. So first we're gonna show you uh, what kind of tools we use to assemble aluminum and fittings. First, we use a set of uh, aluminum vice jaws from Phoenix. They don't mar the fittings when we clamp down onto it. I like to use an adjustable wrench because regular wrenches don't have a tight enough fit, so you'll end up rounding the fittings if it gets tight. With an adjustable wrench, you can get it tight where that does not move at all. So now I showed you the tools, I'm gonna show you how to assemble these. First, I like to start off spray just a little bit of lubricant in here. It really helps the hose slide on. We like to use silicone because it, it dries and it doesn't leave a bunch of oily film on the uh, tubing. So it slides together real easy. You wanna make sure that your hose is right down to the end of the threads. You don't want it any farther because you'll never get that line together. Now I'll, I'll put it in the aluminum vice jaws. I like to make sure it's flush. That way we don't, our wrench doesn't hit the edge of the fitting when we start screwing it in. Again, more, uh, more silicone spray on both the threads and the, the taper. Once you get it started, you can thread these fittings in mostly by hand. And once it gets tight, you can use a adjustable wrench to finish it off. Also too, sometimes the hose wants to try and spin, so you have to hold on to the hose while you tighten it. So that's it. Just wipe off what's left of the silicone spray. And uh, when I do these, I like to try to line up the flats on the, uh, on the nut. Just gives it a cleaner look. So we just got done putting that end on. That end actually attaches to our Mazir water pump. I put it on there just to make it easier. Now our hose comes down to this tank I just made. When I try to mark these, I try to make sure I have enough slack where it's not super tight. And then I like to measure about, about three quarters of the length of the fitting is where I mark my hose. So now let me just take a Sharpie, kind of eyeball three quarters of the length. That look, routing looks good. It's not gonna sit on anything, no interference. And then I'll pull this line out. I'll show you how we cut it. Okay, so now we're at the bandsaw. We just made our mark where we want to cut our tubing. I feel the best way, and we all do it. Take a piece of tape, and I center it over my mark. And I wrap at least one and a half times, just so it, we know it's not going to come loose. Then we cut all our our hoses with the bandsaw. So after we cut it on the bandsaw, the tape keeps all the fibers together so it doesn't fray out. And it makes it really easy to install the fittings. So we're back from the bandsaw and fitting on the car. One thing I want to talk about with these fittings is if they do not swivel, you want to make sure that you make a a reference line of which way you have them clocked because once they're tight you cannot spin them on the hose so after we cut the hose it does leave some debris inside the hose so we take an air hose blow it out good that way we don't get any debris in our cooling system so the tape I'll show you when I take this tape off the fibers aren't going to fray out like they normally would if you just cut them on a bandsaw 
If I cut that on a bandsaw, that would be way worse than that. It would be all over the place. So once again, just a little bit of spray on the inside of the fitting helps it go on. One thing I didn't mention is you want to twist. Twist the fittings on. Don't try to try and push. That will also fray out the, the fibers. So, like I said before, the hose is at the end of the threads. Put it in the soft jaws. Silicone spray. So one thing that I learned with these fittings is if you get to this point and you're, you're, it's hard, it's almost impossible to start turning, you've inserted your hose too far. Take the fitting back out and make sure your hose is at the bottom of the threads and then reinstall. This one is perfect, so I don't have to do that. I just, little tip. There you go, that's another hose crimp. Let's go install it. So we're back here at the car. We got our line crimped. We'll go ahead and install it. Wiggling the fitting while you put it on helps a little bit loosen the tension on the, on the threads. And there you go. Here, I got another little tip. So after the hose is installed and you can see, I got a funky little twist to it. You can actually twist the hose because all hoses have a natural curve to them, the way they were rolled, the way they were made. So this one, this fitting is pointing up and this other fitting is kind of pointing up. So I want the curve to go the other way. So if I just grab both ends of the hose, I can rotate it until I get a nice even curve now. Now somewhere where I can put a clamp to the fan shroud and I don't have to worry about any interference with the crank or sway bar or anything like that.